though you didn't miss a race weekend, welcome to this year's third episode of BMW Club TV and the first not tied with the build-up for a round of the BMW and Performance Parts race series. I'm your host, Philip Iguana, and boy, do we have a packed program for you. Our first stop on tonight's show is our regular meeting venue, Fahrenheit Seafood and Grill, where our 2024 BMW Car Club Gauteng AGM took place near the end of February. Let's recap the year that was and find out what our club members are looking forward to in this new season. Good evening BMW Club members, you join me the 21st of Feb after our annual general meeting. So just to give you a little bit of background about the annual general meeting, what takes place, what we do, how it's put together. So according to our constitution, we have to give 21 days notice for the AGM. This goes out on all of our channels, we've got a lot of WhatsApp channels, we've got email channels, we also do it on Facebook. So you'll find that uh, this notice was sent out to all our cl uh, club members to say that on the 21st we're having an AGM. Part of what we do there as well, just to make the process a bit easier for those that uh, cannot attend, is that there's also a Google form that you can uh, basically uh, tell us whether you are attending or you're not attending. And you can also nominate uh, members for the committee based uh, on the, the Google form. So tonight we had uh, a nice outcome, a nice uh, group of members that came through and we had a very good meeting. All our committee members, the serving committee members were present uh, by Elvis, but he did apologize, he was not able to come through. And I think we had a very good meeting. What, what we basically do in the meeting is that, well, the first thing to do is obviously welcome everybody. Then we go through the, uh, the minutes and we approve the minutes and we accept them. Then we do a 2023 review. So just very quickly to talk about 2023. Uh, you know, we've got the club and we've got the race series and we're finding that in 2023, the race series is growing quite a bit, but we've also now made sure that we've got the club up to speed as well. So in uh, an effort to do that, what we do as the, the committee is that we also now have put together subcommittees so that we have subcommittees talking to branch runs, talking to skid ban, talking to go-karts, talking to any other activity, concourse for example, that then gets the same amount of attention as race series does. So that the car club is not just race series, but is the car club that also deals then with members who are not uh, necessarily people who want to race on track. Because we, we do understand that that's where the BMW club comes from. It comes from people who are passionate about their cars, but don't necessarily want to race their cars. They're quite happy to do show and shines, to just do trips and to just enjoy the BMW uh, mark and to enjoy the car. So we've got those committees. We've had some uh, brilliant uh, activities in 2023. So as I said, the race series was growing. We had the time trial championship that was uh, reinstated. That worked, worked out very well. And the time trial is really a club event because there you can bring your road car and you can take your road car on the, on the track and have a, a blast. The skid bands were very popular, so that's something we're also going to emulate in 2024 for this year. And we had our first formal awards evening, which really went down very well. And I think uh, all the guys enjoyed it. They enjoyed dressing up. They enjoyed coming and attending in a formal uh, setting. And I think that really, really went down well with all of the members. And our biggest ever concourse was held at the Mall of Africa. That was in keeping with the 50 years of BMW South Africa which I think was a really, really well attended event and a very well put together event with uh, Marek and Johan and Colin and, and all the guys that normally you know, work with the concourse events. So we spoke about 2023 and what was. Then we look at 2024 and what will be. So in 2024, just to talk very quickly about race series, we're going to have 10 races uh, in 2024. Two of them at Kailami, one of them being at the M-Fest which will be uh, in October, the 24th to the 27th of October. So that's going to be one of our highlights. We're also attending Kailami in April, 
uh, which will also be a very good event for all of our club members. And for the first time, we'll be going to Cape Town, the Kilani racetrack, which I think is going to be an excellent opportunity for all our race series guys to enjoy a new track, a new setting, and to make a little bit of a holiday of it as well, uh, you know, in terms of enjoyment and just getting to experience uh, a new setting and a new environment. The winter in July is something that we really, really want to bring back and we want to do that. We're targeting Clarence in July and we want to drive down there. We want to have a good time with all the club members, make a weekend of it, have some fun, enjoy each other's company, talk about cars, look at cars and really just have a good time uh, doing that. The skid bands are going to be back. The time trial championship is already in full swing. We're going to have the three events. We've got some good sponsorship there from Expel South Africa who have uh, basically sponsored the entire time trial championship. So we're really grateful to them, uh, you know, to have given us that sponsorship. One of the, I think, uh, good things that we did in, in 2023 as well, was to basically do a donation to Hot Cares, which is the Hot 1027 charity site, where we basically have given 30 hot laps to disadvantaged kids. And um, they would come through to our time trial series and then we would take them around in our club taxi and give them an experience that otherwise they would not be able to you know, participate in. So we're very proud of that and we're very happy that we could actually give back to the community as, as the club. And we try and do that in, in, a, in little small ways that we can as the club to also then bring people into our fold and to show them uh, what BMW as a mark is all about. So 2024 is going to be very busy. We're doing concourse again at Mall of Africa, which is going to be fantastic. As I said, we're going to have all of the, the events, as I've mentioned, and we're going to do the formal annual awards again at the end of the year. So all of that jam-packed 2024. Uh, we're look, really looking forward to it, and we invite all of you as our members to come along for the ride. Our calendar is electronic. All you need to do is go onto the WhatsApp, click on the link, and it'll upload all of the events onto your calendar so that you have a reminder of when these events are going to be taking place. So that's uh, really what the 2024 Looking Forward is all about. I think if I just talk a little bit about one of the amendments that we had to do to our constitution, and we could only do this at the AGM, was that we needed to put in a disciplinary code. MSA did say to us that we need to have a disciplinary code in our constitution, which we didn't have before. It was really just a committee that would meet and would uh, you know, deal with issues as they arose. But we're finding that now in keeping with what is proper governance uh, in terms of clubs and clubs in general. So we will. We spoke to our members about it. They gave us the, the, the quorum to do so. And we now will put in a disciplinary code in our constitution, which was, was not there before. So I think that makes the playing fields fair as well. So that any member, if they have any issues, they know that there will be a proper process in which we will deal with their issues. Uh, and it's not just uh, a dictatorship of, of committee members that will basically do whatever you know they feel like uh, there will be a proper disciplinary code in place so we did our financial report our finances are, are very good very strong you know we've been fully subscribed in terms of sponsorships both for 2023 and 2024 and we're very extremely grateful to all our headline sponsors you know we have in performance parts we have ats we have dunlop we had share tracking now we have zf and all of their affiliated brands, i2, Liquimoly, Arrow, uh, NGK, uh, we've got also uh, TuneTech. So we're really, really very grateful to our sponsors who, you know, to allow us to give a lot of rebates back to our race drivers and also allow us to sponsor some of the club events that we also like to do. So to our sponsors, thank you very much. We really appreciate you and I know our members also really appreciate you. So we also looking at doing a bit of a redesign on a lot of our clothing, but we will bring that to you in, in subsequent episodes of BMW Club TV so that you'll be able to see what we have on offer. And that's another exciting part of the club. Our social media and the BMW Club TV is really, really taking, I think, the club and uh, our offerings to a different level. We now are now immersing you guys as our membership into everything that we do. It's becoming a documentary. It's becoming something where you can really share and live all the experiences with us. So we're very, very proud of that. Reynard, Paul and his team. And we really want to grow that to another level so that you guys get to experience 
all the club activities as uh, we experience them and as we bring them to you. So that, I think, brings me to the conclusion of the AGM. The AGM was successful. All of the current members received the required number of votes and they were nominated and they will be back in their positions for 2024. There was a bit of a change in 2023 where Colin became vice chairman, I became chairman and uh, Bernard retained treasurer and, and chairman of race series. But we, we want to make sure that there's no disturbance to the, the flow and to the, the synergy that is the committee. And so we also commit ourselves to giving you our best and to making 2024 one of the best years of the BMW Car Club. So that's our AGM in a nutshell. And yeah, please enjoy the club, be part of the club and participate in the club. Congratulations to Varish and his entire team who were again voted into their various portfolios. Apart from the members, the committee also enjoys support from our brand partners. One of them is Expel South Africa, which we visited in 2023 when they partnered with the BMW M Performance Parts race series. This year, they've extended the partnership, including naming rights to the BMW Car Club Gauteng track days. We returned to their Centurion premises to learn more about what led to this decision and for a behind the scenes look at their team at work. Mayer. Um, I'm from Custom Protection Products, we're the authorised distributor for Expel in Southern Africa and uh, yeah, Expel is an American company uh, listed on NASDAQ, uh, considered as the global leader in pain protection forms amongst other things. Uh, Expel invented self-healing pain protection forms and we've got a vast range of products including automotive window forms, ceramic coatings, aftercare products uh, and DIY solutions and soon we will also be launching bicycle protection in Southern Africa. Um, so I'm here with uh, Reynard today just to chat in terms of our sponsorship with the BMW uh, Club Gauteng and the time trials specifically and uh, BMW uh, Club approached us last year to look at relaunching the time trials this year and they were obviously looking at a total sponsor and we were quick to jump on board and say we're definitely interested. Um, this is now our second year as a sponsor for the BMW Club and it's been a fantastic ride, great people, uh, fanatics and uh, BMW fans, obviously being a great brand, driving one myself. Um, we're looking forward to 2024, supporting the club and participating and uh, becoming more involved with the club on various levels. All our dealers are uh, independent, um, so obviously they know what it is to service a client in terms of retaining the client and keeping you guys happy. So uh, one key thing is obviously, you know, with Expo being a massive brand, um, please do visit our website for authorised and accredited dealers. Um, we do find and have found, uh, not only locally but globally as well, there are a lot of misrepresentation in terms of companies uh, saying that they do Expel, but they're not. Uh, hence, we've got a dedicated page where all our dealers are listed. Um, so please make sure that you do uh, contact those dealers specifically. Um, I'm also proud to, to announce that this year at the annual dealer conference, which was held at San Antonio, Texas, where Expel is based, um, our one uh, fitter, fitment technician that's been with us for 10 years uh, won the PPF installation competition as number one in the world. Um, I think that's a fantastic achievement for us, uh, but also you know, iterates the fact that um, you know, we as a South African company uh, like and do follow global trends uh, and to like to do things in a first world manner. And I think it can give customers assurance that we do know what we're talking about and that we've got a global perspective in terms of what this trade requires.
welcome to DAP. DAP stands for Design Access Program. It's a, a application used for finding all our pre-cut systems for all the different cars for when pre-cutting our PPF for the vehicles, whether it be PPF, window tints, and all that. So obviously we've got over a thousand, over a hundred thousand kits on the system. So there's plenty on here to find, as long as we've got all your details of your vehicle and obviously bonus is photos. But yeah, so first off, where I'm going to start off is obviously we need to begin with regions. So obviously with us being more right and drive, I'll work from more the right and regions of UK and stuff. So we'll go into UK and from there on we'll obviously get to a year model of your vehicle. So we'll go down, let's say it's the brand new 2024 X5s. Let's go down there. So from there you've obviously got your different car makes and stuff from A to Z where it's got over 30 models here from different makes. So we're going to the BMW region and then you've got your different submodels. Submodels, it becomes very interesting because you've got all the different submodels from one series to your eight series to your I's to your X's to your M's and all. So we'll go down the standard X5 for now. And then from there on, we'll get your sub sub model, which will then obviously be your M Sport, your M60, or your X Line. So from there, we'll obviously click on one of them, and it will bring up your variant page and pages of all your coverages that you get of what the client or dealer is requesting. So from there, we'll open the page, we'll see the pre cut of the bumper, compare it to your photos, make sure that the pad panels fit, and from there on out, it's basically sorting this in a Tetris according to the lease meters used for your vehicle in order to provide you with your quotation. So from there on we'll put that through, we'll get your meters and we'll send it through the plotter to do your pre-cut kit so that there is no cutting on the cars and everything comes out one more from the edge and it's looking fantastic. Keeping your car nice and shiny, protected from any hail damage, stone rash and all that. So Looking forward to see most of you in the future and welcome to come visit us. From a very informative look at Expel South Africa's day-to-day -day operation, let's head to Swat Cops Raceway for this year's first Expel South Africa BMW Car Club Gauteng Truck Day. Hi, and welcome to our first track day of 2024, brought to you by Expel, who is our new title sponsor for 2024 for all our track days. So it's now the Expel BMW Car Club Time Trials uh, Series. And our first one is uh, at Swartkops. Today's the 24th of February. And yeah, it's a scorch of a day. We've got a nice uh, bunch of cars. We've got uh, some uh, road cars and some race cars that have joined us, non-BMWs even. And we've got about a field of 50 cars that's entered for today. So we are looking forward to a great day and lots of action on track.
indeed a hot day at Swatacorp's Raceway when the participants gathered for the morning's driver and safety briefing. So how do these days work? Every participant has a minimum of six 15-minute sessions during the day to set their fastest time around the circuit. They participate in groups of fast or slow race and road cars but compete in various classes determined by engine capacity. It's not all competition only, with many participants also using this event to take some friends and family around the circuit. Results count towards the 2024 Expel South Africa BMW Car Club Gauteng Time Trials Championship subject to their participation in two of the three events. In conjunction with Hot 102.7 FM's Hot Cares initiative and as mentioned earlier by Varish, this event also saw a group of 10 kids from the St Mary's Children's Home enjoying the on-track action for their first visit to a racetrack that included passenger rides. Hi everybody, my name is Jenny and I'm the nurse at St Mary's Children's Home. Today BMW was so nice as to get some of our kids to come and see the racing to take, go around the track with the racing drivers and they are just spoiling us to bits and it is such a fun, wonderful day and we just love being here and everybody is so nice, they're good, they're kind, the kids are really enjoying the racing so much. Guys, we from St Mary's love to do the best that we can for our kids, this is totally a new experience and without BM, we would not be able to bring them here to have this experience. We are there for orphans, abused, abandoned children and we try and do what we can from the age of three right up till after school when they start studying. We need all the help and the sponsors we can because these are the kids of South Africa and they need a future. And we would really love you guys all to help us wherever you can. And once again, our thanks to BMW. The day's fun was not merely limited to on-track action. Expel South Africa also introduced those in attendance to their range of products, hosting a small contest to show how easy it is to apply their range of custom protection products. These track days also provide an excellent opportunity to show off various products, with the team from Lowback Trailers also taking up this opportunity to demonstrate their new trailer model. Today at Swartkop's Raceway, nice lovely day, everybody enjoys it. We are here from Lowback Trailers. We've got a trailer that's specially designed to drop down to the floor for easy loading. Uh, it's got disc brakes, a hydraulic system, it works well. Um, it's got a hydraulic winch on and a self-sustaining battery system. Um, we're new in the market, we're testing the market today. Uh, lots of people uh, looking at the trailer and we're glad to be here today. So thanks for the opportunity. Thanks. But let's go check out all the excitement that happened on the track. <laughs>
so it's great to be back with my car. I've been missing for about uh, nine months now. Uh, I tried to make uh, come back last uh, race meet. I lasted about uh, three laps. Unfortunately, my engine blew again. Uh, this time I done a lot of work with Shane Krobler and the guys. It, it, uh, we're starting to run in, but it's really feeling good. I've got a good feeling about this and hopefully I'll be here for, for the rest of the season. Uh, so I'm really looking, for, really looking forward to the season. It's been awesome. Uh, it's really cool cars. I think the event is an amazing way to get new guys into the club and get it going. Um, yeah, it's an overall real fun event and I think it's a, a really good idea for the guys to keep on hosting this. Good day guys, uh, we're here at round one of the BMW Club Car Time Trial Series um, and it's been an awesome day so far, been having a lot of fun, did a few laps this morning, um, it's a lunch time now so taking a break quickly and then we'll head out this afternoon and do a few more sessions. Um, I think it's awesome what the guys have done here, it's really fun getting out here and just having a blast and having our road cars here as well. Um, and just doing a few laps and having a great day. So it's awesome being here and I uh, can't wait for the next two rounds. Thank you. So we're uh, out at Swatkops today, having a bit of fun, doing a bit of time trialing. Yeah, it's an awesome day. Uh, nice bunch of guys out here, some awesome cars. Times are pretty decent, track's great. Um, having a lot of fun. It's a, it's a really fun day. And whether you're uh, riding a GT3 Porsche, a Cobra, or just a standard street car, it's, it's really worthwhile. Come out and have some fun with the guys. Really, really proper bunch of guys, really friendly, great fun. So I think we've been having a, an awesome day, cars running well, a um, little bit hot now so not, not ideal to, to try and do fast lap times. Basically, basically just brought the car for a shakedown, make sure that everything is pointing in the right direction. Yeah, everything's going well, awesome day. This is a good day here at Swartkops for the time trial series. It's the first time that uh, we've been here, it's going well, we're improving on the setup of the vehicles and on the mapping all in all good day so far nice weather okay yeah so we're here at the time trials today first time attending it's quite fun we're using it basically as a testing session uh, sorting out the cars um, we're actually happy today no overheating no funny business with the cars so we're basically just enjoying the track day and uh, it's a lucky event thanks everyone okay so did you enjoy today yes did Bernard drive really slow or did he drive really fast? Really fast. Really? Was it fun? Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you want to be an accountant one day? No. A race car driver? No. No, not yet. Okay. <laughs> well, on that note, let's look at the official times to see who was the fastest driver on the day. Peter Zeely's 1 minute 2.930 lap was the fastest time of the day, which also saw him take the race car victory. Willie De Beer took second, ahead of the BMW M Performance Parts race series trio of Fabio Fidetto, Renier Smith and Ryan Nacker. Defending time trials champion Philip Smith's 1 minute 6.016 lap saw him win the road car battle from Eugene van der Berg, Walter Erasmus, Craig Kazank and Christo Santos.
Right, so that's the end of our track day for the 24th of February. Our first track day of the year, like I said earlier. Uh, thanks to Expel South Africa once again for sponsoring today and the whole series. Uh, we had a wonderful day. It was very, very hot today, but we got through it. Um, we had, like I said, 50 cars. Uh, most of them, no issues. They all went through the day, no, no incidents to report, so that was a good day. Uh, I'd like to also thank the committee that assisted me today and a big thank you to uh, Hot FM and Hot Cares for bringing through some youngsters that we took around in hot laps in the track taxi and some other cars. We, we spoiled them for the day, gave them some food and some drinks and chocolates and, and all the rest and they had a wonderful time. And then we also had a lot of guys come out and just go around in hot laps. They seem to have enjoyed it. This is also a week before our next race event, so a lot of the race guys came out to test their cars. So, yeah, we're looking forward to, to the next event, which is the 19th of May. It's a Sunday. Uh, again, here at Swart Corps. Um, yeah, looking forward to, to another successful round in our time trials. As Bernard said, our next Expel South Africa BMW Car Club Gauteng Track Day will be back at Swat Corps Raceway with the final one for the year in October at Red Star Raceway. Let's look at the calendar for April. BMW Car Club Gauteng will join the annual Angeles Picnic. A few days later, Round 3 of the BMW M Performance Parts Race Series takes place at the Kailami Grand Prix Circuit, which we will preview in our next show. April will also see the first of our 2024 brunch runs. As always, scan this QR code to stay up to date with our calendar. We hope you enjoyed this month's show and if you're going away for the Easter weekend, we wish to see you back safely. From me, Philip Iguana, it's goodbye until next month.